So the last topic I'd like to cover regarding tables is going to be about merging cells together and splitting them back up. So I'm going to go right back to the table that we've created, our weekly training schedule. And yes, we do have a training schedule for the week, Monday through Friday. But maybe this is training for a specific week, and I would actually like to label that uh, on my table. And I'm going to do this in probably a new top row. So if I want to insert in a new row uh, above my table, first we'll just need to make sure we have any cell selected in our current top row. We can then go to our Table Tools Layout tab. Over on the left-hand side of the ribbon is our Rows and Columns group, where we can now click on Insert Above to get a new top row. So then I'm going to click in our very first cell in uh, the top left-hand corner, that new uh, first cell. And let's say this is our training schedule for the very first week of the year, January 1st. So I'm going to type in the cell, training for the week of January 1st. Let's do that. Training for the week of January 1st. Okay. Now, already you can see this doesn't look uh, very good. Uh, because we have a lot of text in that cell, it increased our row height, and that text isn't very easy to read because our text is never going to spill over into another cell. But what we could do is merge or combine cells together to make larger, supersized cells. And I think I'd like to do that for my entire top row. Turn these five individual cells into one single larger cell. So we'll need to select the cells we want to merge, and I will click and drag to select all the cells in the top row, where we can then go right back to the Table Tools Layout tab. And on the left-hand side of the ribbon, there's a Merge Group and the option to Merge Cells. And that's what I'm going to click on, Merge Cells. And now you can see that, well, anywhere I click in my new top row, this is all one single cell. Uh, the text looks a lot better, it's a lot easier to read, and my text was already aligned to the center uh, because that's the options I had in my previous top row, so that was transferred over. Uh, if your text isn't centered, don't forget you have your alignment options in that layout group, and you can adjust those as you see fit. Now, once you actually merge cells together, well, this isn't permanent. You can split the cells back up, and there's a couple ways to do that. Well, first, if you um, merge cells together and immediately realize you did something wrong or that's not what you wanted, well, just undo. Click on the undo um, icon in the top left-hand corner of PowerPoint in the Quick Access Toolbar, or press the undo hotkey on your keyboard, Control-Z as in Zebra. Yep, one way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, redo that cell merge. And there's actually a redo a hotkey in PowerPoint, which is Control Y. Control Y. So if you ever undo something and realize, oh, I did not want to undo that, press Control Y, and it will yep, redo that last action. Okay. So with my cursor in this cell, uh, I can actually go back to my layout tab, back to the merge group, and here is a split cells option. So I can just click on split cells. And you can choose how many columns you would like to split into. So you don't have to split back into the original five columns. Maybe you actually want to make uh, two different columns at the top row, in which case you just click OK and see that take effect. Now, one more way we can actually um, split, or sorry, merge cells, one way we can merge cells is by removing or erasing the border in between cells. Yes, you do actually have an eraser in the Table Tools Design tab above the ribbon. So if you go to that Design tab, all the way on the right-hand side of the ribbon is the eraser, which you can click on. See your cursor changes to an eraser icon. And now I can click individual borders or lines in my table to remove them. And I'll just do that on this line, separating my uh, two cells in the top row. Click right on the line. You'll see that um, cell border disappears. And this is now, once again, a completely merged cell. And now that eraser is still on, so be careful with clicking on other things. Remember, you can always undo if you make that mistake. But to turn the eraser off, just click on the eraser icon or press escape on your keyboard. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.